Hello, I'm Chris Merritt, director of the American Institute in Taiwan. This year, we mark the 35th anniversary of the enactment of the Taiwan Relations Act. The Taiwan Relations Act, or TRA, was approved by the United States Congress and then signed by President Carter on April 10, 1979. It has served as the cornerstone of the relationship between the United States and Taiwan ever since. In the same way that Taipei 101, the iconic building behind me, reflects the growth and development of Taiwan in recent decades, the U.S.-Taiwan relationship has grown ever deeper and stronger, built on the foundation of the Taiwan Relations Act. The act provided for the founding of the American Institute in Taiwan, or AIT, which is charged with carrying out commercial, cultural, and other relations between the people of the United States and the people of Taiwan. The TRA has endured for more than three decades, but our strong relations with the people of Taiwan go back even further. The United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, provided needed assistance to Taiwan beginning in the 1950s. The success of this investment is demonstrated by the fact that today, Taiwan is a donor instead of a recipient of foreign assistance. For years, Taiwan's leaders in politics, business, and academia have received advanced degrees in the United States. Many of them first learned about opportunities to study abroad at the U.S. Information Service offices on Nan Hai Road in Taipei. Of course, there has also been a lengthy history of immigration from Taiwan to the United States and the list of those from Taiwan who have contributed to U.S. society is long and distinguished. Ties between the United States and Taiwan remain tremendously strong today, and I'm deeply honored to lead my colleagues at AIT in nurturing and strengthening this vital relationship. The people of the United States and Taiwan are bound by our shared values and our common commitment to democracy, free markets, rule of law, and human rights. Taiwan's vibrant democracy includes an energetic, multi-party system, an active electorate, and a free press. Taiwan's efforts to combat human trafficking are commendable, and the United States appreciates the opportunity to work together to fight trafficking in persons. Our support for Taiwan's democracy, rule of law, and defensive needs contributes to the maintenance of peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. Defensive materials and services provided by the United States also increase Taiwan's ability to provide humanitarian assistance following natural disasters. Our economic and commercial ties are important to the well-being of both the United States and Taiwan. The resumption of the Trade and Investment Framework Agreement talks revitalized an already robust trade relationship and provided an important platform to continue addressing trade and investment issues of concern to both sides. Taiwan remains one of the United States' largest trading partners and plays an important role in the global supply chain. The United States is the largest investor in Taiwan, and Taiwan has also become a major investor in the United States. The United States and Taiwan recently marked 20 years of environmental cooperation. Two decades ago, Taiwan's air was not nearly as fresh and the rivers were not nearly as clean as they are today. These striking changes are evidence of Taiwan's determination to be a responsible steward of the environment. In the area of scientific cooperation, the United States and Taiwan remain close partners. We recently signed and enacted the GLOBE Agreement, by which students in Taiwan became part of a worldwide network of students who monitor weather conditions and share data to further the study of the Earth's climate. Thousands of American citizens live and work in Taiwan, and each is a vital part of the people-to-people -people relationships that are the bedrock of relations between Taiwan and the United States. Travel in both directions was made easier when Taiwan joined the Visa Waiver Program in November of 2012. Taiwan is only the 37th member of this very prestigious group. Travel from Taiwan to the United States increased by nearly 35% in the first 11 months of Taiwan's participation in the Visa Waiver Program. Visitors from all branches of the U.S. government continue to visit Taiwan regularly. We've enjoyed visits from a multitude of executive branch officials, members of Congress, and state and local government officials. Each of these visitors returns home impressed with the breadth and scope of the vibrant U.S.-Taiwan relationship. 
Taiwan remains one of the top sources of international students in the United States. These students return to Taiwan after their studies and make valuable contributions to their communities. The Fulbright program is a hallmark of these people-to-people -people ties with Taiwan, and the list of Fulbright alumni reads like a who's who of Taiwan society. Taiwan's significant investment in the Fulbright program exemplifies the importance it places on this program. Here at AIT, we have made it our mission to reach out and listen to the views of as many people as possible. On nearly every day of the week, members of the AIT community speak to student groups, university classrooms, political parties, business groups, and community organizations on a variety of topics. The dialogue that happens in these programs is a vital part of what we do. Some of the most tangible examples of our relationship have come in the form of humanitarian assistance when one partner is in a time of need. In the same way that the United States has assisted Taiwan in times of need after natural disasters, Taiwan's quick deployment of assistance after disasters like Hurricane Katrina in 2005 or Hurricane Sandy in 2012 remains fresh in our minds. On this 35th anniversary of the Taiwan Relations Act, ties between the people of the United States and the people of Taiwan have never been stronger. And I'm confident that with the TRA as an anchor to that relationship, they will continue to grow and prosper well into the future.